more verbs in the predicate. And if you remember, um, so far we've learned how to conjugate regular predicate with e aste o amos estes aron, e iste io imos estes yeron. Uh, then we learn how to conjugate the regular verbs, which were with ir, dar, ser, hacer. Fui, hice, dio, vimos. And then the next one was cargar, sar verbs. In the jo form, which car, ensign, que, sar, ensign, se, and gar, ensign, ge. Right? So now we're adding more to that. The predator is very extensive as far as the amount of irregular verbs that they have. Remember, we have two ways to express past, two two ways to express the past tense. Uh, pre the predator is one of them. The imperfect is the second one. But you guys won't get to know that yet because we have a lot to do in the predator. So here is what we have for today. I will post the notes online. Make sure that you print this blanks on paper uh, so that you can fill it in yourself. Um, if you happen to miss anything, just pause the video or also you can look at the one that is already filled up. But for you to get your credit, you guys got to fill it on yourselves. So here it goes. Uh, the reason why I'm giving you pictures, those tiny pictures, is not to be funny, but it's to um, hint the change that is going to happen in the root. These verbs all have a change in the root. I learned this from my dear colleague and friend, uh, Senora Osterland, and she told me the trick of, of using these pictures that they change in the root. All right. So again, those pictures are just to help you out. Poder. To be able to. Okay. Um, I was able to is going to be yo pude. You were able to pudiste, pudo, pudimos, pudiste, pudieron. Now, the picture is to help you remember that poder in the past tense is going to be pude, pudiste. The root or that is put, like the poodle was able to paint its hair pink. Okay, the poodle change in the root, right? Okay, we're going to go to poner, which is the word to put. And the Joe form will, will be puse, pusiste, puso, pusimos, pusisteis, pusieron. The picture there is to hint you the change in the root. Put some boots, put some his boots, right? So, therefore, P-U-S is the root change for poner in the past tense, in the predator. Then we have querer, and that's to want, and I wanted will be quise, quisiste, quiso, quisimos, quisisteis, quisieron. At this point, you can actually guess uh, the, the rest of that once I give you the first the change in the root, because the rest, notice how the endings are pretty much the same. They're not the regular endings, they follow their own endings, but it's talking still in the past tense. So quise... Why the little picture? Because I wanted to give you a kiss, right? The verb to want. I wanted to give you a kiss. Change root, Q-U-I-S. Quise, quisiste, quiso, quisimos, quisiste, quisieron. Again, you put pause me at any time. Saber. Uh, well, this is the verb to know. But we also have another verb to know, which is conocer. And conocer and saber, they both mean the same. At this point, you already learned the difference between the two. Saber is used to when you know facts, information, or when you know how to do something in other ways, a skill, right? I know how to skate. Yo sé patinar. Um, I know your birthday. Yo sé la fecha de tu cumpleaños, right? Information versus a skill, we use saber. But then conocer is when you know a person, place, or thing. Conozco a la señora Merced. O conozco la, a la escuela Firestone. Conozco al, a, a la biblioteca, etc. And the conjugation will be supe. At this point, you should be able to figure out the rest of that. I'm giving you the root, right? I knew, I found out that the soup was hot. Supiste, 
supo, supimos, supiste y supieron. Um, tener. Yo tuve pelo. Change in the room. Tuve. Yo tuve, tuviste, tuvo, tuvimos, tuviste, estuvieron. Yo tuve pelo. I had hair, right? Yo tuve pelo, right? To you is the root change. Um, and then we have venir. If you look at the picture of that, that's a vineyard, okay? And that's venir is the word to come from. Remember, we need to add the word from, which is de, at the end of the verb once you conjugate it. I didn't add it here because we don't have space for it. So if I want to say I came from, I would say yo vine de, right? Um, the rest of that repeats. You guys know already the endings. Yo vine, viniste, vino, vinimos, viniste, vinieron. I came to the vineyard, right? Don't get confused with the word vino at the bottom. Vino means wine, but obviously it will be the context, right? Yo tomo vino versus el muñeco, el señor vino a la clase, right? Okay, and that I have no picture for and that you can make something up, but the root is anduve. So everything is anduve, anduviste, anduvo, anduvimos, anduviste, anduvieron. Make up a picture, email me, let me know what you think. And a star to be is going to be, guess what is that? A stove, right? A stove. So estuve, estuviste, estuvieron, estuvimos, estuviste, estuvieron. Oops. <laughs> so again, the root is estuve. I turn on the stove, right? The stove is in the kitchen. Um, Again, a star versus ser, right? Both verbs mean to be. At this point, we learn about Dr. Cliff, doctor for ser, a star for, um, uh, Cliff for a star. And if you look at the bottom, however you feel, whatever you are, always use the verb a star. Or if you use Cliff, it is for condition, location, expressing ing, feelings, and taste. So these are the occasions that we want to use the verb a star. Yo estuve... Eh, enferma ayer. I was sick yesterday. Yo estuve en la escuela anoche. I was in school last night. Um, uh, yo estuve corriendo. I was running. Um, feelings. Uh, yo estuve triste anoche. I was sad last night. And the taste, uh, la sopa estuvo caliente. The soup was hot, right? So that would be the only occasions that we use the verb estar. Muy bien. So I hope this helps. And nos vemos. Chao.